Okay, so uh, here is a demonstration of how to do your own tile. So uh, you can apply this mastic. Let's see over here. Okay, ceramic tile adhesive, mastic from custom. Oh, best thing that I use is uh, this uh, 3 16 notch. And what I do, I just kind of put it on. You can see that. So, you know, you just kind of apply it on. What I do, I this is all level, bottom part. Then I measure like four tiles up, put myself another line. So that way it's kind of like you got yourself in that area, you know. It doesn't have to be necessarily level, but close enough, you know. Um, and then you just kind of like you want to put a kind of like a maybe 30 degree angle on your trowel and it kind of has to look like this now it depends you know you can have your lines this way or whatever or whatever it's easy this is mastic so it really is not going anywhere um, so that's that Okay, you use this 12 inch. I mean, I wouldn't recommend the little puny ones that you can buy. Those things are crap. You can barely work with it. So it's much easier with this, you know. Um, again, you can get this at Home Depot. Um, okay. I already kind of have the cuts pre-cut. And the way I do it here, what I do is like, I have my subway tile. Um, and what I do, I wrap it over. You can see that this right here, after it was cut, it wraps over and it comes back on this side. Same thing with the little one. You know, you can't see there, but you can see down there. You know, and it just gives it a much nicer look, you know. And I finish it with this uh, metal uh, edge over here. Uh, saving some money. This metal edge works, I guess, you know. Uh, you save some money on that thing, not paying for bonus and stuff. So, uh, there you go, so we install our tile there. Got the little puny little one here. Okay, let me just go grab some tiles. I'm sure I have that ready, but that's the way it is. There you go, so you want this bad boy? Kind of put it in there. It's kind of hard to film with one hand and install. I don't know if you saw, but what I do, I kind of, kind of punch it a little bit or tap it, and that gives it a good bond, you know. And uh, uh, it's good enough. You know, I've done plenty of it, so I know that it's good enough. Um, okay, I already have this pre-cut. The return on this one, but this. Bad boy on top of that and when I do punch it I've done it like I said again way too many times uh, I'm looking that make sure that these lines right here they're matching really nice you know it's not too in or too far out or whatever so and, and then I'm looking at the grout joint here that it matches nicely so uh, get another one of these guys okay and then again, we'll go back to the letter cut. So, as you can see with this mastic, these tiles are flying, and you can just fly with it. You know, so uh, there you go get an idea of what I'm talking about so now the rest I just got to make those cuts to butt in and uh, move on and get it to the top right there yeah. here we got some uh, little v-cap bullnose that we're using there um, here's a little bit of return just make some cuts in there now uh, a good tile cutter will be something like this what I recommend I've been using this for gee over 20 years 
not the same one, but similar, exactly the same brand name. Uh, of course, stupid morons that don't like it, they stole it. Probably got my tools stolen at least a couple times. You can see even that with one hand, come back over here and you just snap. There you go. How easy is that? Now the little tool will be here. Can you can use this to be wet or dry? Okay. That's as far as I can show you. All right. Good luck.